Welcome back to another episode of History Bodied. We focus on the most interesting questions and topics surrounding the world that we live in. Subscribe to the channel now and become part of the community, so you never miss any of our latest uploads. In this video, we will be looking at the history and culture of the beautiful country of Cape Verde. Let's get started with today's video. The history of Cape Verde has emerged from a diverse melting pot of European colonizers and African customs drawn together over centuries. Cape Verdeans identify strongly with the culture of their islands. Cape Verde comprises 10 islands, 9 of which are inhabited, and is located 375 miles off the coast of Senegal. The islands are named for the Cape Verde Peninsula in West Africa, the nearest land formation. These days, the archipelago is exceptionally proud of its heritage and maintains strong cultural ties to both Portugal and the African mainland. The first island of Cape Verde to be inhabited was Santiago, the first permanent settlement in the tropics, founded in 1462 and colonized by the Portuguese. The Cape Verde Islands were uninhabited until the Portuguese first landed in 1460. They settled in an area of Santiago called Ribera Grande in which they used as a slave trade post between Africa and the New World. Some Africans stayed on the island and worked as slaves on the Latifundia or plantations over there. Ribera Grande experienced several pirate attacks and was abandoned after a French assault in 1712. Pirate attacks and takeover attempts from other empires also started to increase around the same time, bringing a fresh wave of chaos to Cape Verde. After 1876, with the decline of the slave trade, the islands lost much of their economic value to the Portuguese. Cape Verde suffered many droughts in 1742, causing widespread devastation, the effects of drought and famine were compounded by poor administration and government corruption. Despite persistent pleas for aid from Portugal, the colonizers refused to pour money into the country without gain. Over the next few years, thousands of people died as starvation gripped the islands. The situation went from bad to worse on Cape Verde after the abolition of slavery in 1876, however, things picked up during the 19th century. The prosperity again declined after World War I, however, and the country experienced several devastating famines. It was not until after the Second World War that relative prosperity began to return. Cape Verde regained some wealth in the late 19th century due to its convenient location on major trade routes between Europe, South America, and Africa and to the opening of a coal and submarine cable station in the port city of Mindelo. In 1951, the Portuguese changed Cape Verde's status from colony to overseas province and in 1961, granted full Portuguese citizenship to all Cape Verdeans. Later on, the islands became an independent republic in 1975. Cape Verdeans are extraordinarily generous and hospitable people. Cape Verde's culture is heavily influenced by its unique music, such as the Morna, a melancholy sound harking back to the days of slavery, an intriguing vocal tune that vibrates throughout the islands. Cape Verde has also produced talented poets and authors, including Frusoni Sergio, Tavares Eugenio, and Manuel Lopes. 98% of Cape Verdeans are Roman Catholic. There is a history of several Jewish settlements that date back to the Inquisition. Unfortunately, they are now extinct. As for the daily food, corn is the leading food of choice for Cape Verdeans. Common foods of this country include rice, beans, fish, potatoes, and manioc. A traditional breakfast is a couscous, a steamed cornbread, generally eaten with honey and milk or coffee. In Cape Verde, even the poorest take pride in presenting guests with a meal. It is considered rude to eat in front of others without sharing, and for this reason, one does not eat in a public setting such as on the street or a bus. Well, that brings us to the end of today's video, all about Cape Verde and its history. Did you know about the culture of Cape Verde? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it interesting, make sure to leave us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to History Body, so you never miss out on taking a trip back in time with us to the most fascinating moments in human history. Thanks for watching, see you again soon in another video.